hands are small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Madeline and today I'm going to take you along for another day of cleaning. I did a pretty big uh, B&M and Primark haul recently. If you haven't watched that already, I will link it down below. Um, but I got so many cleaning products and home decor pieces, so I'm going to go around the home and kind of um, clean around and also decorate a bit with the new bits that I got. Um, so if you do want to watch that video first, then I will link it down below. But let's go ahead and get started with the cleaning. I'm starting in our ensuite. It desperately needed a good clean. I'm going to put some of this Duck Deep Action Gel um, in the toilet just to kind of let it sit a bit before I um, scrub it really well. Then I'm going to put all of the products away from um, the surfaces here because I do have some in front of the mirror. So I just wanted to clear the space so I can give it a good clean. My old Minky has definitely seen better days, so I got a new one um, and I'm going to use that with my um, Flash bathroom spray and I love this combo. This is something I learned from Mrs. Hinch, which I am sure a lot of you love on Instagram as well. Moving on to the shower, another tip that I learned from Mrs. Hinge. I think I should call this video Hinge with me instead of clean with me because um, there's lots of tips in here that I learned from her. I absolutely love her. She inspires me so much. Um, so I'm going to use the Scrub Mummy sponge. Such a cute one. The name really um, tickled me. So I'm going to use this and I made um, kind of a concoction here in a on, an old method spray bottle. So I just put some fairy liquid in there and some water on top and I just mix it well. I'm going to spray that on the shower screen. I'm going to scrub it with the scrub mummy. And then I use this window vacuum at the end and it leaves the shower screen so lovely um, and streak free and really nice and shiny. So that's what I use it here. Now it's time to pop everything back on. So I just have this basket. I think I got this from Primark last year, but I did see it in the store this year as well. Um, so I just have some skincare and hair care in there. I'm going to put that um, here. And I've also got this fake green uh, grass. So I'm going to put this here as well. I really like having um, just kind of a bit of um, greenery in the uh, bathrooms. I've got this tiny little basket from Ikea where I keep um, earrings or things like that when I take them off at the end of the day. Um, and then I'm also going to put in there a um, reed diffuser that I got from Primark. This was four pounds, I believe. It's called Retreat and it's a blush jasmine um, with essential oils and it smells really lovely. Another thing that needed a good clean here was my radiator um, because obviously we wash our hands and then we dry them on the towel that's on the radiator. Um, it gets quite a lot of um, water splashes on it. Um, so I wanted to clean this up and I'm using the Flash Bathroom Spray on this as well and the Minky too. And I'm also going to get in there in between um, the slats just because it was really dusty um, in between them. Jump into the car on a Friday night I want to drive with
And then I have this basket from um, Primark Home. I think I got this last year as well. Um, and I'm just going to pop this um, on here. And I've got some uh, spare toilet roll in here. So lucky to be yours. And that's our bathroom done so I'm going to move on to our bedroom now actually before I get started with the bedroom I wanted to use this Lenore crease releaser that I got recently um, so I have this t-shirt that's all clean and dry and I just wanted to see if it will help with the creases on it so basically you spray it you kind of stretch it out a bit and then you leave it to dry and it's supposed to um, release the creases so it definitely worked it's obviously not as good as actually ironing your clothes um, but um, I do not have time for that <laughs> I do not like ironing so this is perfect for me up I'm going to make the bed so I'm just straightening up the um, duvet cover I'm going to straighten up the pillows and I'm also going to pop on my decor pillows so these mustard ones were from Ikea the covers and then the one that says home on it um, that one was from home base I believe um, and then I've got my chunky knit throw that I bought from Primark a while ago um, and then lastly in here, I'm actually going to use this that I got um, recently. It's the Febreze Unstoppables Fabric Refresher. If you guys use the Unstoppables in your um, washing machine, like with your laundry, those smell incredible. It's definitely one of my favorite scents um, for laundry. So I thought this would smell really lovely in the bedroom too. So I like to spray it um, on our bed. And then lastly in here, I'm just going to straighten up this corner. Um, I had my um, dressing gown and a uh, throw that I used, so I'm just going to pop everything back in and straighten it up a bit. Moving on to the other bathroom, the bigger one that we have upstairs. So this one is pretty much Victor's bathroom. <laughs> He's the one that uses it the most. I'm going to start by cleaning his toilet seat adapter and I'm using the Dettol bathroom spray for this. It's really good and it's a non-rinse one. I do rinse it sometimes but um, you don't have to if you don't want to. Then I'm going to clear the surface um, in here as well just so that I can use my uh, flash bathroom spray and um, give the sink a good shine. And then I have this Febreze bathroom air uh, freshener so I'm going to pop this on the side here too and I put some toilet roll in front of it just so that it's a bit covered because I don't particularly like the look of it <laughs> so that's what I do in here and then I'm also going to use the uh, flash bathroom spray and the minky on the bathtub too <laughs> So now I'm going to move into Victor's bedroom. If you don't know who he is, he's my three-year-old um, son. So I'm going to uh, put our mattress away. This is the one that we sleep on sometimes in the mornings. Um, and then I'm going to pop some clothes back in the um, drawers and just kind of straighten up the toys in here too. Friday night, I want to drive with you Looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue And you take me And 
then last toilet of the day. Are you guys sick of seeing my <laughs> clean the toilets already? I've pretty much repeated the whole process in here as well. So with the shining the sink and the toilet and everything like that. So I did not film that again. I just have this ginger and lime hand uh, soap. This is so good. It smells so lovely. I got this from Tesco and it was really cheap as well. So I like having this in the um, downstairs toilet. And then uh, this is the little basket. It's a, such a cute one with bonbons. This one I got from B&M. Um, and I'm going to pop in there an Ikea fake plant that I have. So I love using baskets like this instead of the plant pots because I think it just looks a bit nicer. So I'm going to put this um, on here too. And then also from B&M I got this larger basket to hold toilet roll. Um, and this one's going to go on the side of the toilet obviously. And then I've got this cute little Ikea basket um, and I'm also going to put in there this um, Ylang Ylang and Orange Blossom uh, Reed Diffuser. This one I got from Tesco um, and it smells really lovely. I pretty much love anything that smells like Orange Blossom. I think it's a really nice scent. And that's our downstairs toilet pretty much done. I hope you guys have enjoyed kind of cleaning and decorating with me a little bit. Do give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!